When co-locating battery energy storage with a renewable energy source, such as a wind or solar farm, there are really two ways to do it, AC coupling and DC coupling. In the UK to date, AC coupling has been the more common approach. This is the case at sites like Whiteley in Scotland, the battery and wind farm we covered last week. In these cases, both the battery and the renewable energy source have their own inverter. DC coupling, on the other hand, is where the two share an inverter. This means that equipment doesn't need to be duplicated, which reduces costs, but it also introduces a need for DC to DC converter and can reduce cost savings elsewhere. Choosing between one or the other may therefore depend entirely on any operational benefits. So, what does DC coupling change operationally? Let's take an example DC coupled solar and storage site. This site is currently unlikely to be able to provide any frequency response services, even overnight when the solar isn't generating. This would have had a huge impact on revenues available to the DC coupled battery in 2022. But since we've hit saturation, there's much less value to be found there. So, if it can't provide frequency response, what other benefits are there? Well, a DC coupled battery can charge up from energy which is clipped or otherwise lost at the inverter. Basically, this is excess solar energy which can't be used otherwise. This excess exists because solar projects tend to be oversized. That means the capacity of the panels is greater than the capacity of the inverter. By charging up from this energy that would otherwise go to waste, the battery can essentially charge for free and sell this energy later in the evening when the sun has set. The amount of clipped solar energy will ultimately depend on the oversizing ratio of the solar farm. To take an example, if a solar farm is oversized by 150%, it might see 5% of its annual generation clipped or lost. By installing a one hour battery, it would be possible to capture 90% of this otherwise lost energy and sell this later on in the evening. If we take predicted prices for 2023, this could be worth up to 7,000 pounds per megawatt per year for a DC coupled battery, just by charging up from energy which would otherwise be lost. Because the battery can absorb and later sell this otherwise lost energy, it means a DC coupled site can achieve higher oversizing ratios than some equivalent AC coupled sites. This in turn can improve the business case for the entire site, not just the battery asset. To dive into more details, check out our latest deep dive.